<clears throat> What's good, everybody? It's your boy Julio, aka Julito Bandito, and I'm back with another video. Um, this video is gonna be a little bit different, guys. Um, as some of you may know, I'm actually getting a circumcision coming up. It's actually tomorrow. Um, I just want to get straight into it. This video is not to persuade you to get a circumcision. This video is not to scare you to get a circumcision. This video is to tell you my experience of getting a circumcision. My outcome may be different from yours. My experience may di be different from yours. And I just want to share my experience. I know that some people have questions. I know that some people have opinions on it. Some people are completely against it. Some people are thinking about doing it. I'm just telling you my story. I don't care what you do with your life, okay? When I announced that I was gonna do this, I had so many people writing me, telling me, no, why are you doing this? This is the worst decision you ever make in your life. Ah, uh, you're, you're, you're mutilating yourself. You hate yourself, don't you? I had people writing me this because I said that I'm getting a circumcision because the doctor recommended it. And another thing they said, oh, the doctor just wants your money. Probably true. Well, at this point, take it because I'm tired of dealing with what I'm dealing with, okay? I've, I've, I've looked into a lot of stuff. It's not something I just woke up and decided to do. I did my research. I, I listened to articles. Everybody's circumstances were based that you, um, you had you on their situation. Everybody had different outcomes. There was no guaranteed right or wrong answer. Everybody's situation is different. So now you're probably wondering why are you getting a circumcision if you didn't want to. Okay. So... For the longest time, probably when I was around 16, 17, I started getting this irritation around my foreskin, okay? Um, I used to not be allergic to latex. Uh, however, uh, I'm a nursing student, some of you may not know that, uh, but if you're constantly exposed to latex products, wear a lot of latex gloves, you can actually build a latex allergy. So that's kind of what happened to me. Um, I started, I worked at this bottle company where I wear latex gloves every day, all day. And then I actually, one day I started, I used to use protection all the time. And then one day I'm using protection, I took off the condom and I'm swelled up, irritated, red. I'm like, what is going on? I didn't even catch it during it. Cause you know, when you're in the moment, you're not, you know, but, um, I knew then that I'm like, this is weird. At the time, I thought I caught something. I thought I had an STD. Um, I got checked for it. Everything was negative. I realized, no, this is probably allergic reaction. So I stopped wearing condoms, okay? I've been with, in a relationship with, my same, with the same girl for five years now. Um, I stopped using condoms with her. And then, uh, you know, we became intimate, you know, regularly, you know, unprotected. However, I started still having these irritations even without the condom. Initially, like at the time, I'm just being honest with you again. I thought, yo, I've been wearing protection. We stopped wearing protection. And now I'm having this irritation again. You gave me something, you know, just being young and naive and being stupid. You always want to blame the other person. And, you know, and that was the beginning of our relationship. But I was probably like uh, six months in, um, you know, but it, it wasn't her. I got checked. Everything came back fine. It was again, um, my, I'm just having a reaction. This time it wasn't to latex. This time it was just my foreskin. I would constantly get this issue where I would swell up or I would get um, very red and inflammated um, and it would be very, and it was this weird feeling, I would feel like heat. That's the best way I can explain it. I would feel heat around my foreskin. It was very uncomfortable. And if it wasn't itchy, it was this heat sensation. And I tried to explain this to the doctors. I'm like, yo, I feel it. I don't know why, but I feel it and I can, and sometimes you can visibly see it and sometimes you couldn't. I wouldn't even be nothing there, but I can feel it. I tried everything. I tried the ointments. I tried the medications that they gave me. Um, I tried using non-scented soaps, non-scented detergents, um, non-scented lotions. I, I did everything I possibly could to stop from my skin from becoming irritated. When you're constantly dealing with a certain uncomfortability, you become used to it. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of like if someone is pinching your skin, the initial pinch is very uncomfortable, but as they sit there for a while pinching your skin, you eventually become used to that sensation. That's kind of what happened to me. And I know that there's people out there who want a second opinion, maybe want to hear someone else's story on it before they decide to move forward with it or not. And I'm just telling you my story. Who knows how this may go? This may go terrible. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But I'm sharing the story with you, and I'm just being transparent about it. 
here we are. We're going to keep it going. I'm going to try to give you guys a day-by-day -day basis. It's not going to be too long depending on how I feel. But I just want to, you know, be open and transparent with you guys. Um, if you like this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, show love. And um, we're here, guys. This is not going to be all my content. But I, I just want to make it be known that I'm going to be open with my audience about everything that I do. I want to try to make this YouTube lifestyle and do this YouTube thing. And I know that's being open with everybody. Make sure you comment below. Are you thinking about it? Maybe you're you're scared. Maybe you hate this idea. Comment below. If you hate it, all right, cool beans. I mean, I, I want all the feedback. I want people to be able to see it. And we're just going to go from there, guys, all right? Appreciate y'all. I'll vlog it. And we'll see how it goes.